Hey everyone, welcome back. We are at the tail end of our task checklist for Google Docs. In this video, I am going to uh, learn how to access my revision history in a document and also learn how to translate my document and or write in a different language. So let's head on back to my George Washington report in Google Docs. You'll notice that it looks a lot different than my last one. So let's talk about revision history. Revision history is a great way to track changes to your document and restore previous versions if needed. So if you're working with students in Google Docs and they're typing out a report or an essay and then they do something silly and everything disappears and they say, oh my gosh, I don't know what happened. I swear I was doing my work. I swear I had a report, but I don't, it just disappeared. You could just say, okay, no worries. We know how to get it back. And then, you know, they'll just kind of get nervous. <laughs> All right, anyways, let's go back to revision history. So to find revision history, let's go to file uh, under your menu bar and then scroll down until you see version history. We select version history and then select see version history. And so what this does is that it will open a panel on the right side of your screen and it shows you all of the previous versions of your document. So you can tell I've been working on this most of the day. Um, this was the first time it saved it. Uh, if you click on it, you'll notice that there's nothing there because I accidentally deleted it. Then if you click on here, you'll notice that my text came back, was able to bring it back. And then this is where I was showing you the links or how to create a hyperlink in your document. Now, when you're working with students and they're doing a long-term project, they're doing some type of report over a couple of days or over the course of a week, it's nice to use your version history and name them. So at least we kind of have an idea like what point in time um, is the work at. So I had renamed this final draft of George Washington, right? But it still included some of these hyperlinks, and I didn't want that to show up, so I went ahead and I deleted that hyperlink. So now my latest version, I renamed it, and it says no links in my paragraphs. So you can see my edits. You can actually see the type of edits here in the report. And this is nice if you have students who are partnering up and they're both writing together and you can see their names and you can see how much student number one wrote versus how much student number two wrote or who did what or who did what editing. So it's a nice trick to know as a teacher and as a TA. So I'm okay. Now I have my final version. Um, if I had made any other versions here, it would say restore. So I'm just gonna pretend I clicked restore. And then here we have my final edit. It looks, looks very nice and clean. It's got my text, it's got my pictures um, that I needed and it got rid of all the tables and smart chips that I was showing you before, okay? So just know that whenever you restore this version or a new version or an older version, whatever you select is going to overwrite the current version that you have. So just keep that in mind whenever you're using the revision history. Okay, so now let's talk about our second task, which is how to translate this document into another language, right? So, you know, interestingly, I did work with one of our Region 2 teachers, and he has a student whose family speaks um, Dari. And Dari, um, does not is unfortunately not in the languages listed in our translation tool. But I'm getting ahead of myself here. Let me show you how to find your translations first. So to translate your document, we're going back to our menu bar. We're going to click on tools because it's a translator tool or translation tool. We're going to click on tools and then we are going to select translate the document or translate document. Okay, we're going to rename this. So I know it's my George Washington report and maybe I wanted to um, have it accessible to that student whose family speaks um, Dari. So I'll just put Dari here for now. Now, if you click on the drop down menu and you scroll through <clears throat> the different languages here, unfortunately, we see that Dari does not exist. 
So we had to do a little bit more research here and we noticed that Dari is actually also very close to two other languages which are Farsi and Tajik. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. So if we scroll down, we also notice that Farsi is not included in that list. So let, we're now left with our third option and we scroll down and it's Tajik. And so we do have Tajik. And so I'm just going to put Dari Tajik here as no. And then I'm going to go ahead and select the button translate. And here, Google Docs will translate your document into your selected language, and it opens that new document with a translated text. So notice that if I go back to my tabs up here, here's my original text, and here's the new copy that's translated into Tajik. Very nice, huh? So this is just a really nice way that we could translate things and make it a lot more accessible for ENL students. Now, let's say we have another student. Um, I could even do this and translate this into another language. So I am Filipino, so let's see if I can translate this into Tagalog and take a look at how accurate the translating actually is. So let's go back to Tools translate document and this time we're translating the second document so i'm going to name it gw from tajik i really hope i'm saying that right to tagalog tagalog all right so choose the language and we're going to just look for tagalog or filipino all right there's filipino all right we'll translate that and again you can see that it creates a third new document. So it doesn't touch my original document at all. It saves the third one as something new. So is this accurate? I don't know. We'll find out. So let's read this here. Ang araw na pinutol ko ang puno ng cherry. That's pretty, that's pretty accurate. All right. So now we know that we can translate our original document into several languages to meet the needs of our ENL students. Okay, now I wonder if I can type in a different language using this. So let me see. Oh, uh, no, it doesn't. <clears throat> nope. So unfortunately, Google Docs did do away with the ability to write in a different language, but if you write it in English and translate it, then we still have the same thing. Alrighty, so revision history. Okay, remember revision history is file and it's version history. See version history right here. Revision history and translation are very powerful features that we can use as teachers to make our documents more efficient and accessible. By learning how to use these features, you can save some time and effort and make your documents more useful for a wider audience.